Hello everyone, this is Paul from SpanishWithPaul.com and in this week's lesson I'm going to show you just how easy it is to start using the subjunctive in your Spanish. Now it's really just a myth that the subjunctive is only for advanced learners when the truth is that you can and absolutely should start using the subjunctive as early as possible. That means even if you're still just a beginner. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that. That's all coming up next. If you'd like to get a free account on Spanish for Paul and access private lessons that are not on YouTube, simply click the link that you see on the screen right now and sign up for your free account. I've also put that same link in the description box below this video. You can also subscribe to my channel to get a brand new lesson from me every single Monday. So with all that said, let's get started. Normally, to express I have, the sound is tengo. However, when you use or enter into the subjunctive, the sound changes from tengo to tenga, which is a rather more exotic sound in Spanish. So this means that entering into the subjunctive, you will now use the sound of tenga whenever you want to express I have. Here's how to use it. The first thing you have to do is say something that triggers it. So for example, to express I hope or I hope that, the sound in Spanish is espero que. So espero que triggers the subjunctive. Let's look at this example. If you wanted to say, I hope that I have, and you said, espero que tengo, this would immediately be heard as a mistake to the ears of a native Spanish speaker. Because after saying espero que, you have said something that triggers the subjunctive. So you must change the sound from espero que tengo to espero que tenga. The word for everything is todo. So how would you say, I hope I have everything? Espero que tenga todo. The word for enough is suficiente. Reminds you a lot of the word sufficient in English. So we have a number of syllables here. Su, fi, si, ente. Suficiente. How would you say, I hope that I have enough? Espero que tenga suficiente. The word for time is tiempo. How would you say enough time? Suficiente tiempo. Now say, I hope that I have enough time. Espero que tenga suficiente tiempo. The word for money is dinero. So we have dinero. Dinero. How would you say, I hope I have enough money? Espero que tenga suficiente dinero. To express for everyone would be para todos. Para todos. Now say, I hope I have enough for everyone. Espero que tenga suficiente para todos. How would you say in order to? The word is simply para. And what's the verb to do? Hacer. 
to express to do it. You will take the verb hacer and simply tag on the pronoun of lo. So to do it would be hacerlo. How would you say in order to do it? Para hacerlo. Now let's try this one. I hope I have enough time to do it. Now I've underlined the word to because this is where you will use para, the sound of para. In other words, you will literally say, I hope I have enough time in order to do it. How would you say that? Espero que tenga suficiente tiempo para hacerlo. The word for everything is todo. And the word for today is hoy. How would you say, I hope I have enough time to do everything today? Espero que tenga suficiente tiempo para hacer todo hoy. To express the chance to or the opportunity to, these things are the same in Spanish. And the phrase is la oportunidad de. Here we have quite a long word with oportunidad. So let's count the syllables. We have o, por, tu, ni, dad. So that's the chance to or the opportunity to. La oportunidad de. Now, how would you say, I hope I have the chance to? Espero que tenga la oportunidad de. The verb to visit is very similar from English to Spanish. The sound is visitar. And to express to visit you, you will take the verb of visitar and simply tag on the pronoun of te. So you have visitarte, to visit you. How would you say, I hope I have the chance to visit you today? Espero que tenga la oportunidad de visitarte hoy. Let's examine this one in a step-by-step -step fashion. So first of all, you have I hope or I hope that, which is espero que. Now, because you've said espero que, this triggers the subjunctive in Spanish. So you must use the sound of tenga for I have instead of tengo. So I hope that I have, espero que tenga. Now, the chance to or the opportunity to, la oportunidad de. Then to visit you, visitarte, and today is hoy. You can see that this is the way we build blocks one on top of the other to think out longer phrases or longer sentences in Spanish. You just take it step by step. What's the verb to see? Ver. And to see you? Verte. So again, we took the verb of ver to see and simply tagged on the pronoun of te, which means you. So together, the sound is verte, to see you. How would you say, I hope I have the chance to see you? Espero que tenga la oportunidad de verte. The word for later is más tarde. I hope I have the chance to see you later. Espero que tenga la oportunidad de verte más tarde. What's the verb to buy? Comprar. To buy it. Comprarlo. Again, we took the verb of comprar and just hooked on or tagged on the pronoun of lo. So, comprarlo, to buy it. 
Do you remember the word for money? Dinero. Now say, I hope I have enough money to buy it. Notice again that the word to here is underlined, so this is where you must use para in order to buy it. How would you say it? Espero que tenga suficiente dinero para comprarlo. The verb to pay is pagar. How would you say to pay it? Pagarlo. Here again we have pagar and tagging on the pronoun of lo for it, so pagarlo. Now say, I hope I have enough money to pay it. Espero que tenga suficiente dinero para pagarlo. Other phrases in Spanish will also trigger the subjunctive. For example, how would you say, I think that or I believe that? The sound is creo que. However, if you turned that around and said, I don't think or I don't believe that, so the sound would be no creo que. This phrase of no creo que triggers the subjunctive. Let's put them side by side. You could have creo que tengo, so I think that I have, or I believe that I have. You can see that we are using the normal sound for I have with tengo, creo que tengo. However, turning it around into the negative, meaning I don't think, or I don't believe that, now this particular phrase triggers the subjunctive. So, you can no longer continue to use tengo, it must change into that more exotic sound of tenga. No creo que tenga. Let's try to use it. How would you say, I don't think I have enough time? No creo que tenga suficiente tiempo. What's also interesting about tenga is that it can stand for I have or I will have. So going also into the future, the present and the future are both covered with the sound of tenga, I have or I will have. That means that if you said I don't think I have enough time or I don't think I will have enough time, in both cases you will still use the same sound of tenga. So let's try it. How would you say, I don't think I'll have enough time? No creo que tenga suficiente tiempo. Do you remember how to say to do it? Hacerlo. To do it today. Hacerlo hoy. What about in order to do it today? Para hacerlo hoy. Now say, I don't think I'll have enough time to do it today. No creo que tenga suficiente tiempo para hacerlo hoy. Once again, what's the word for money? Dinero. Now how would you say, I don't think I'll have enough money to buy it today. No creo que tenga suficiente dinero para comprarlo hoy. Do you remember how to say for everyone? Para todos. I don't think I'll have enough for everyone. No creo que tenga suficiente para todos. How would you express the chance to or the opportunity to? La oportunidad de. What about 
to visit you. Visitarte. So here we have the verb of visitar, to visit, and then the pronoun of te means you. So combining them together, to visit you, visitarte. Now say, I don't think I'll have the chance to visit you today. No creo que tenga la oportunidad de visitarte hoy. Do you remember how to say to see you? Verte. So the verb to see is ver. And again, we just hook on the pronoun of te. So verte. What about later? How do you express that? Más tarde. Now say, I don't think I'll have the chance to see you later. No creo que tenga la oportunidad de verte más tarde. So far, we have two phrases, both of which trigger the sound of the subjunctive in Spanish. Those are espero que for I hope or I hope that and no creo que for I don't think that or I don't believe that. So espero que, no creo que. I'd like now to also give you a third trigger, and that phrase is, I doubt that. The sound in Spanish is, dudo que. For example, how would you say, I doubt I'll have enough time to do it today? Dudo que tenga suficiente tiempo para hacerlo hoy. What about, I doubt I'll have the chance to visit you. Dudo que tenga la oportunidad de visitarte. Now, how would you say this? I doubt I'll have enough time to see you later. Dudo que tenga suficiente tiempo para verte más tarde. Let's break this one down step by step. So, I doubt or I doubt that. Dudo que. Now this triggers the subjunctive, so we must go into tenga. I doubt that I'll have. Dudo que tenga. Enough time. Suficiente tiempo. To see you later is in order to see you later. So, para verte, and then later, más tarde. Notice here that we are clearly using I will or I'll, and in Spanish we can continue to use the sound of tengo, so either I have or I will have tenga. Let's try another. I doubt I'll have enough for everyone. Dudo que tenga suficiente para todos. The answer in Spanish is la respuesta. La respuesta. And to express by tomorrow would be para mañana. How would you say, I doubt I'll have the answer by tomorrow? Dudo que tenga la respuesta para mañana. To express the right answer, you would literally say in Spanish the correct answer. So this would be la respuesta correcta. Two things here. Notice the word order. First you say in Spanish what it is and then you describe it. So the answer correct. La respuesta correcta. Notice as well that with the double R, it's quite common for native Spanish speakers to roll these, so correcta. If you're able to do that, it's good. But it's not essential to being understood. Only if you can. Now let's try to use it. How would you say, I hope I'll have the right answer? Espero que tenga la respuesta correcta. What about, 
I don't think I'll have the right answer. No creo que tenga la respuesta correcta. So let's take a step back and look at the three triggers we have so far. Those are espero que, no creo que, dudo que. Whenever we say one of these phrases in Spanish, we have triggered the use of the subjunctive. So for I have, the sound must go into tenga. What I'd like to do now is mix all of them up. Let's see how you do. First of all, how would you say, I don't think I'll have time to do it today. No creo que tenga tiempo para hacerlo hoy. I doubt I'll have time to see you. Dudo que tenga tiempo para verte. I hope I have enough for everyone. Espero que tenga suficiente para todos. I don't think I'll have an answer by tomorrow. No creo que tenga una respuesta para mañana. I doubt I'll have enough. Dudo que tenga suficiente. I hope I'll have the chance to see you today. Espero que tenga la oportunidad de verte hoy. Let's finish with this one. The word for lessons in Spanish is lecciones, lecciones. And to express Spanish lessons would be lecciones de español. The word for more is simply más. So how would you say more Spanish lessons? Más lecciones de español. Now say, I hope that I'll have more Spanish lessons with Paul. Espero que tenga más lecciones de español con Paul. So there you have a simple introduction to using the subjunctive in Spanish. Now, please don't make the mistake of leaving this topic for later or thinking that it's only for advanced learners. Because as you can see, the subjunctive occurs even in the simplest of phrases in Spanish. So it's best to start practicing it from the very beginning. So that's it for this week. Remember to sign up for your free account on Spanish with Paul by clicking the link you see on the screen right now or the one that I've put in the description box below this video. I look forward to seeing you all again next Monday.